Welcome to Savuma Turkey YouTube channel. Turkish Defense Agency Chief Professor Hayluk Gorgon used the following statements in his message published on his official social media account on January 11, 2024. The security of Turkish skies is entrusted to our defense industry. I am very pleased to announce that the design verification tests of our Bozdoğan and Gokdoğan missiles have been completed. Now our missiles are ready for acceptance tests. We will make these two new assets of our skies available to our Air Force by conducting tests with live warhead as soon as possible. On this occasion, I would like to congratulate once again all my colleagues and industry stakeholders who contributed to the introduction of Gokdoan and Bozdoan into our country's air defense system, especially our Air Force's command and Tubatak Biljem. As Savuma Turkey channel, we will examine Bozdoan and Gokdoan missiles in this video. The Turkish Air Force currently has F-16 and F-4 fighters as main combat aircraft in its inventory. When these fighters engage in air combat, if the enemy plane is within visual range, that is, if the enemy is at close range, they engage with the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile. However, if the enemy aircraft is beyond visual range, that is, at a long distance, they engage with AIM-120 MRAM missile. Looking back history, we witness many cases where air-to-air -air missiles were used. During the Syrian Civil War, which broke out in 2011, Turkish Air Force was assigned to monitor and protect the airspace on the Syrian border. Following the deliberate shooting down of a Turkish RF-4 reconnaissance aircraft by Syrian air defense systems in June 2012, Turkey changed its rules of engagement against Syrian aircraft. On September 16, 2013, an F-16 of the Turkish Air Force shot down a Mi-17 helicopter of the Syrian Air Force, which was violating the border. On March 23, 2014, a Turkish Air Force F-16 shot down a Syrian Air Force MiG-23 that entered Turkish airspace. On May 16, 2015, two F-16s belonging to the Turkish Air Force fired two missiles and shot down a Syrian Mohajer 4 UAV after passing through Turkish airspace for five minutes. An F-16 belonging to the Turkish Air Force shot down a Suhoi Su-24 type aircraft belonging to the Russian Air Force on the Turkey-Syria border on November 24, 2015. On March 1, 2020, two Syrian Suhoi Su-24 aircraft were shot down by Turkish Air Force using air-to-air -air missiles. AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120 MRAM missiles were launched by Turkish aircraft in all these air battles. These missiles are produced by the United States and supplied by Turkey in limited numbers at various times. Turkey has recently been exposed to both explicit and implicit defense embargoes. For this reason, Turkey has adopted a policy to produce locally critical systems, such as air-to-air -air missiles, in order to minimize foreign dependency in defense. Projects were initiated by the Defense Department of the Turkish Scientific Research Council, for the development and production of air-to-air -air missiles in Turkey. All air-to-air -air missile projects carried out by Defense Department of Tubatak are united under the Goktug program. Goktug program includes air-to-air -air missile projects with various technologies. The Bozdoğan and Gokdoğan missiles mentioned by the Chief of Turkish Defense Agency, Professor Hayluk Gorgun, in her message dated January 11, 2024, are the missiles developed within the scope of Tubatak's Goktug program. Bozdoğan missile is defined as within visual range air-to-air -air missile. The missile has an estimated range of 25 to 30 kilometers, has versatile engagement capability, countermeasure capability, and uses an infrared imaging seeker. On April 7, 2021, Bozdoğan conducted a live fire test from the Turkish Air Force's F-16 and successfully engaged the Tusa Simsic target aircraft. Bozdoğan reaches speeds over Mach 4. The Gokdoğan missile is defined as a beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile. The missile, which has an estimated range of 65 to 100 kilometers, has a fire-and-forget capability, electronic countermeasures, and an active radio frequency seeker warhead. Range verification test firings and guided test missile test firings were carried out with the missile in October 2021, and test firings with RF warheads were carried out at the beginning of July 2022. Savuma Turkey's comment on the issue is as follows. Fighters constitute the main striking force of the Air Force. In their early periods fighters were engaging enemy with their machine guns and cannons, However, especially after the Vietnam War, 
fighters adopted air-launched missiles as the main weapon systems. While the hit rate of the first-generation air-to-air missiles was around 30 percent, today, the hit rate of air-to-air missiles at certain distances has reached almost 100 percent. A missile that can be launched stably from an aircraft flying at the speed of sound and hit an aircraft flying at the speed of sound is literally the highest level of missile technology. Today, very few countries can produce air-to-air missiles, which are the highest level of missile technology. For this reason, being able to produce air-to-air missiles is considered a very important defense industry capability. Turkey is on its way to reap the rewards of its investment in the defense industry for decades by developing aircraft such as the Khan National Combat Aircraft, her jet training and light attack aircraft, Anka-3 deep attack aircraft, and Kizilma unmanned combat aircraft. When all these aircraft become ready for duty, the first weapon system they will need will be air-to-air missiles. Khan, her jet, Anka-3 and Bayraktar aircraft will be considered truly mission-capable when they are ready to use Gokdoan and Bozdoan missiles effectively. For this reason, the first Turkish air-to-air missiles to be produced with the Goktug program constitute the main complement of Turkey's aircraft platform projects. Additionally, air-to-air missile technology is constantly improving. New technologies such as ramjet and scramjet are being implemented in missile engines. Tubatak has taken important steps towards developing new missile systems with ramjet and scramjet technologies, in addition to Bozdoan and Gokdoan missiles. The new technology missiles, called the Gokan Ramjet Project, are expected to follow the Gokdoan and Bozdoan missiles and increase the technology level. Finally, air-to-air missiles, which are considered the highest level of missile technology, are also the highest level of secrecy in terms of military intelligence. Therefore, information about the capabilities, ranges, seeker types, numbers and models of air-to-air missiles must be kept completely secret. All features of missiles procured from abroad are known by the producing countries and the third countries they deem appropriate. However, since all information regarding locally developed and produced missiles will be known only by Turkey and can be updated when necessary, depending on the situation, the ability to produce air-to-air missiles will provide great power and security to Turkey. Our video in which we examine the new Turkish air-to-air missiles named Bozdoan and Gokdoan ends here. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please leave a like it really helps our channel. You can use the comment section to express your opinions about our videos or ask your questions. If you want to continue receiving videos on defense issues, you can subscribe. See you in the next video of the Savuma Turkey channel. Goodbye.